Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, hello, welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is so, so exciting because it is in partnership with Online Makeup Academy. So with Online Makeup Academy being completely online, you can take this course from anywhere. They are a school based out in New York, but if you don't live in New York to attend the actual like campus and school, you can just take the course online. So say you're going on vacation and you still want to, you know, take the courses and learn. You could do it from anywhere and you have lifetime access. So I do a lot of like body painting and stuff, but SFX, like all the bruises, wounds, cuts, scars, just all the SFX stuff in general has been something that has really interested me. But I've always just done like self-taught stuff, but I figured with SFX specifically more than like body paint, with different, you know, materials, chemicals, it'd be something really great to learn how to actually use these things, like SFX, like removal, prosthetics, things like that. It'd be really fun to take a course on, but I just never had the money for it. Um, Online Makeup Academy actually had like contests and stuff around Halloween and I entered those and I don't even know if they saw any of my posts, honestly. If they did, like they liked it and stuff, but I was like, I didn't win any of it. So when they had reached out asking if they wanted to work with me, guys, I literally cried. I was like so excited. I was like, hold on, let me double check to make sure this is a legit email. It's not just someone trying to like scam me and stuff. And it was legit. So I got so, so excited that I could, you know, take the course because I was honestly saving up money to take one of the Online Makeup Academy courses that I saw the price tag. I was like, yeah, I really have to save up some money for it. So when they had reached out, I nearly died. Like I had to like pinch myself, make sure I wasn't dreaming go back a little bit later before responding right away to make sure I actually had that email from them. So it is something I've been really, really interested in and I am so happy they had reached out and I have the opportunity to take this course. And upon completion, you will get a certification, a pro card where you get 40% off brands like NYX, Mayron, Graftobian, Temp2, Anastasia, Beauty Blender, Makeup Forever. I'm reading all the names right now and I'm like, oh, so many brands. Like, Anastasia, Makeup Forever, things like that, they don't really go on sale. Like sometimes Anastasia products and Makeup Forever go on sale at like Sephora or like Ulta and stuff, but like to permanently be able to get 40% off ABH and Makeup Forever, done deal. It's so cool that you can get, you know, discounted products for like your kit, but if you guys do purchase the course, you guys will get kit sent to you so that you have the products to complete the course. I didn't get those unfortunately, but I'm working with the stuff that I have, but there's some items like a bald cap, different things like that, that I do eventually want to purchase and try out and complete the course. That way, if I can't, you know, make it work without purchasing those specific items, but you get the instructor. It's a one-on-one -on -one course. And like I said, we will be going through how I did these two today. And I think that's really, really cool. There's a little comment section so you can ask questions and they'll respond to you like for the course itself. And then they also give you homework assignments and they'll give you some feedback and stuff on that as well. So I think that that's really cool that it's interactive like that. You're not just learning, trying to figure it out and you're just not having any feedback and help. So that way, you know, if you do this and, you know, like my gunshot wound, I'll upload it to the website and then, you know, they'll give me a little grade on it and see what I could do better and whatnot. So I think that it's really, really awesome. But I love that it's online. You can go at your own pace. So say you work five days a week and you only have, you know, Saturday or Sunday that you can do this because you want a day to yourself to recuperate. You can do this at your own pace. It's not like you have assignments due every Friday at a specific time like a regular school would be. So I love the flexibility of being able to just do it at home on your own time and that you have lifetime access. So even if you complete the course and get your certification, you can always go back, log in and go back and like relearn, get a little refresher of, you know, the lesson and stuff before you go and do an actual like gig or if you're just trying to do a look for yourself for you know YouTube for Halloween but you at least have that reference you can go back to for like the rest of your life so I love that and like I said I only did these two today but I really want to go ahead and do more of the courses and hopefully get my certification because that would be really really fun but like I said I'm gonna have to go out and buy some items myself that I don't have to be able to complete the course. There's a bald cap one and I really need to master a bald cap. They've got stuff on like an airbrush and I got a temp to airbrush system from one of my friends. Have yet to use it. I was gonna use that as my demo today, but um, the cleaning portion, 
I did not have 99% alcohol or a uh, airbrush cleaner to be able to do it and I don't want to ruin the airbrush if I don't have a cleaner for it so maybe you'll see me try that out another time when I finally get 99% alcohol or an airbrush cleaner um, but for today like I said we're doing this gunshot wound and this cut here so I'll be showing you guys like a little screen recording of the online makeup academy right now so you'll see how some of my courses are completed some aren't but you've got stuff from you know safety hygiene sanitation sfx versus beauty where you can go career wise um the importance of like using reference photos uh tools as in brushes sponges little cups things like that and then you'll take courses on how to do bruises scars scrapes cuts the gunshot wounds specific makeup removal for SFX versus just using like a makeup remover to take off your everyday type makeup. Um, putting on like facial hair, like fake facial hair and things like that. Wigs, body hair, just so much on here. I just want to learn about like prosthetics and things like that. So that's just a brief introduction of Online Makeup Academy and if you guys are interested in seeing how I did these two right here with the little cut and the gunshot wound then just keep on watching. Alright so we're gonna try some different cut options. So I have some of the cream palettes and stuff from Graftobium because I wanted to try out using some cream paints and everything. I'm normally comfortable with water activated paint so I have some notes in here and keeping notes is really important. It makes it easy to go back and reference but we're gonna follow the tutorial here. So I know she's using alcohol activated paint but we are just gonna be using some of the cream paint. So I'm gonna take some of the red paint, scrape it out with my spatula and I'm going to put it on to the palette here. Funzy, see what the little, it's not what I was wanting. Okay, just dab that out. That's fine. It's not what I want. <laughs> That's way too big of a spray of blood. Okay, we tried it. That was my first time using that spray blood. So that was on me, not on, you know, trying to follow this instruction. But that that's a good irritation color that just went a little further than I wanted it to. So we're going to ignore that. All right, so now we're gonna do a gunshot wound with liquid latex and tissue. She uses like cotton balls and rips them apart and stuff. I don't have any cotton balls, but for now we're just gonna use like ripped up pieces of tissue. I'm just gonna take one of these sponges and go in 
to the latex. I know I'm not allergic to liquid latex or just like latex in general. If you aren't sure, it's good to do a patch test. That way you can see if you're allergic or not. And for a patch test, you're just gonna put it on the inside of your wrist. Touch in the morning, cause girl, 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 you won't cry no more. No, 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 don't you show me the door. Cause this love is gonna stay. I said I go running in the rain. Oh, you're my one, one and only. We'll catch the sun in the morning. And so I'm not leaving. This love got me dreaming. I know what you need. latex will ruin brushes so pretty much just use your fingers use these little sponges don't use actual brushes because you will ruin your brushes i learned that the hard way way back in the day If I had, you know, like coagulated blood, things like that to give it more of that texture, I would. But right now we did it just with some color and some spray blood. So I know if I had that, it would have added more to like the inside of this gunshot wound. And I would have been a little bit happier with that. All right, so for this, when working with latex, you are going to want to make sure you have no hair. If there's like any pieces of hair that are like on your skin, it's going to rip it out and it's going to be very, very painful. If I've used like latex and stuff on my face, I keep it away from the eyebrows, but with the little bits of peach fuzz, oh, it was so painful. So anytime I'm gonna use liquid latex, I know I'm gonna have to like shave my face and make sure I get as much hair off my face as possible because just sticking to that peach fuzz is so painful when you try to remove it. But yeah, this is how the gunshot wound turned out. And then again, here is the little cut we did earlier. I think I'm just thrown off by the shape of the cut. Honestly, I should have just done like, you know, like, the Red Riding had like a wolf scratch to kind of redo that. All right guys, so that was pretty much it about Online Makeup Academy as well as getting to see how I did these two SFX looks right here. Let me know what you guys think of the cut as well as the gunshot wound. And I will have everything linked down below for the Online Makeup Academy if you guys are interested in checking them out. I do wanna see what other courses they have. I did take a look. I know they have regular like makeup courses. I saw a body painting one. So even though I know a good amount of stuff for body painting, I feel like I might wanna try that one out and just just see how that one is to see if they can teach me a better way to like mix paint or something like that but so far I'm really really enjoying the SFX course and I'm still like in awe that they even reached out to me and know who I am and getting to try the course out for free given and I still have to purchase some of the materials on my own to be able to complete the homework assignments but it's still just I'm just I'm just in awe I still can't believe it because it is something that I was really interested in and like I said I started saving up money for it specifically so I'm very very thankful for the opportunity thank you online makeup academy if you guys are interested in taking online makeup academy definitely let me know down below if you guys do end up signing up and everything let me know how you guys are enjoying it and yeah but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up 
hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell notification so you guys know every single time that I upload. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.